Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Doctors Infinite Potential. Today we will be discussing on the part 7 of the MCQ series in ENT, topic being anatomy of ear. The dehiscence in the external or dairy canal cause the infection in the parotid gland via Option A, fissure of Santorini, Option B, nodes of ravenous, Option C, petrotympanic fissure, Option D, retropharyngeal fissure. This was asked in Eames in 2004. The correct answer is fissure of Santorini. Okay, this is the external auditory canal, and this is the outer one third part of the external auditory canal, which is cartilaginous. And in this portion, there is a fissure of Santorini. Through this fissure of Santorini, any infection in this external auditory canal can dehisce in the parotid gland and cause the infection in the parotid gland. Okay, this nodes of ravenous is present in the upper attachment of the pars flaccida okay this is the pars flaccida this is the pars tensa okay this upper uh, attachment of the pars flaccida is nodes of ravenous what is petrotympanic fissure this petrotympanic fissure is present in the anterior this anterior wall of the middle ear on which attaches the anterior malleolar ligament Okay, and this retropharyngeal fissure, this doesn't exist. Next question, what is the color of normal tympanic membrane? Option A, purely white. Option B, pink. Option C, blue. Option D, red. The correct answer is purely white. Okay, normally the tympanic membrane is purely white or purely gray in color. This pink Tympanic membrane is seen in 10% of the autosclerosis. Okay, autosclerosis. You can see here. This is the tympanic membrane which is flaming of pink in color. Okay, flaming of pink in color. It is also called Schwartz sign. It's also called Schwartz sign. Talking about this blue tympanic membrane, it is seen in glue air. Okay, it is seen in glue air. This is serous otitis media. Okay, glue air. Talking about this red. Congested tympanic membrane is seen in ASOM, acute separative otitis media. Okay, you can see this erythema is non specific, but bulging membrane is specific for acute otitis media. Okay, next question the pars flaccida of the tympanic membrane is also called option A, rational membrane. Option B Shrapnel's membrane, Option C Vessular membrane, Option D secondary tympanic membrane. The correct answer is of course Shrapnel's membrane. Okay. This is the tympanic membrane, this is the pars tensa, this is the pars flaccida, okay, this is the handle of malleus, this ombo, this is the cone of light. This cone of light is seen in the 4 to 5 o'clock position. It is on the right side, so it is the right tympanic membrane. If the cone of light was present on the left side, 7 to 8 o'clock, it would be left tympanic membrane. Okay. It tilted towards right and cone of membrane cone of light is towards right side so it is a right tympanic membrane it is easier to remember in this way okay talking about this resonance membrane this separates the scala vestibuli from the scala media in the inner ear okay talking about this basilar membrane this separates the scala media or the inner ear the organ of corti rests on the membrane and this secondary tympanic membrane is this overlies the round window in the middle ear. Next question. The most mobile part of the tympanic membrane is Option A, central. Option B, peripheral. Option D, C, both. Option D, none. The correct answer is peripheral. The peripheral portion is most mobile because at the central, the tip of the handle of malleus is attached. The surface area of the tympanic membrane. Option A, 55 mm square. Option B, 70 mm square. Option C, 80 mm square. Option D, 90 mm square. The correct answer is 90 mm square. Okay, but only 55 mm square is functional. Okay. The effective vibratory area of the tympanic membrane is option A, 25 mm square. Option B, 30 mm square. Option C, 40 mm square. Option D 45 mm square. We already discussed the functional area is 45. This option is close to 55 mm square. Okay, so we 
tick this option D is okay. The cone of light is due to option A malleolar fold, option B handle of malleus, option C anterior inferior quadrant, option D steps. The correct answer is handle of malleus. Okay. The cone of the light is not due to malleolar fold. It is present in the anterior inferior quadrant. Okay. It's not due to that part. It is, and it's not due to steps. It's due to the handle of malleus. Okay. It's due to the handle of malleus. Okay. The knob supply of the external canal are all except option A greater occipital knob, option B greater auricular knob, option C auricular temporal knob, option D lesser occipital knob. Correct answer is greater occipital knob. This doesn't supply the external ear. Okay, this doesn't supply the external ear. Rest of the knob supply the external ear. Okay, this is the lateral surface of pinna and this is the medial surface of the pinna. You know. Majority of the knob supply is through the greater auricular knob. Okay, C to C3 greater auricular knob in the medial this tragus this extraordinary canal is supplied by 7th and 10th cranial knob. Okay, 7th and 10th cranial knob and this Auricular temporal knob supplies the Very small portion of this lateral surface of the pinna and lesser occipital knob also supplies the upper small portion of this medial surface of the pinna okay but greater occipital knob doesn't supply the external ear okay so that's clear the arnold knob is a branch of vagus glossopharyngeal auditory facial the correct answer is vagus okay the auricular branch of vagus knob is also called the arnold knob okay it's also called the arnold's knob this is the eponym for frederick and all okay frederick arnold this auricular branch of vagus supplies the innervation of the skin of the ear canal okay the tragus and auricle okay the major part of the skin of the pinna is supplied by auricular temporal nerve auricular branch of vagus lesser occipital nerve greater auricular nerve the correct answer is greater auricular nerve simply way to remember is greater auricular nerve supplies the great part of the auricle okay all of the following nerves supply the auricle and external auditory canal except okay except option a trigeminal option d glossopharyngeal option c facial option d vagus okay the correct answer is glossopharyngeal because it supplies the middle ear okay it supplies the middle ear rest trigeminal facial vagus okay 7 10th 517 supplies the external auditory canal and the auricle okay Sensory supply of the extra auditory meters is by spinovalidin ganglion, zaniculate ganglion, facial nerve, auricular temporal nerve. Mind it, this was asked in PGI June 2007. So, facial and auricular temporal nerve. This supplies the extra auditory canal. This spinopalatin ganglion is the largest parasympathetic ganglion. Okay, it's the largest parasympathetic ganglion, which is responsible for the lacrimation, nasal secretion, and palatine secretion. Okay. Spinopalatine ganglion is the largest parasympathetic ganglion. It's responsible for the lacrimation, nasal secretion, and palatine secretion. Okay. And this zanuclear ganglion. This greater superficial petrosal nerve. Okay. This greater superficial petrosal nerve. It originates from the zanuclear ganglion. Okay. Originates from the zanuclear ganglion of the facial nerve. And then joins with the deep petrosal knob to form the median knob and then through the spinopalatine ganglion supplies the lacrimal nasal and the palatine glands okay the cough response caused while cleaning the ear canal is mediated by the stimulation of fifth cranial nerve c1 tenth cranial nerve seventh cranial nerve the correct answer is tenth cranial nerve this tenth cranial nerve supplying the larynx leads to cough on cleaning the ear canal okay during the ear examination the cough occurs due to the stimulation of vagus trigeminal hypoglossal trochlear it's vagus nerve supply of the tympanic membrane is okay auricular temporal auricular branch of vagus occipital nerve greater auricular nerve 
क्लोसिफायर इंजन ऑफ आक्शन पी जी आई डिसम्बर टू करेक्ट आंसर है ऑलिकुलर टेम्पोरल ऑरिकुलर ब्रांच ऑफ वैगस ग्लोसोफेर इंजन ऑफ सेंसरिन ऑफ सप्लाई ऑफ द मिडल एयर कैविटी इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय फेशियल ग्लोसोफेर इंजल वैगस ट्राइजेमिनल करेक्ट आंसर इज ग्लोसोफेर इंजल नो ग्लोसोफेर इंजल इट्स एक्चुअली टिम्पेनिक प्लेक्सेस ओके विच इज फॉर्म बाई द जैकअप सिम्स इन ऑफ विच इज द ब्रांच ऑफ द टिम्पेनिक ब्रांच ऑफ द क्लोसोफेर इंजल एलॉन्ग विद द सिंपेथेटिक प्लेक्सेस ओके this along with the sympathetic plexus around the internal cavity arch which knob is responsible for the referred vein to the ear 9 3 11 12 12 it's 9 glossopharyngeal okay glossopharyngeal rest of the knob they don't supply the ear with the following is vein is not referred ear pharynx yes tongue yes tympanic tympano mandibular joint yes vestibular of the nose no it's this supplied by the maxillary knob which doesn't supply the ear okay in the carcinoma of the base of the tongue the pain is referred to the ear through hypoglossal vagus glossopharyngeal lingual the correct answer is glossopharyngeal okay base of the tongue posterior part is mainly supplied with the glossopharyngeal knob glossopharyngeal knob okay so mainly it is referred through this glossopharyngeal knob although vagus and glossopharyngeal knob both supply the posterior one third of the tongue but majority is supplied by this glossopharyngeal knob so it is referred to the glossopharyngeal knob okay talking about this anterior one anterior two third okay they are supplied by mandibular branch okay mandibular branch mainly so referred to the mandibular knob if the question would have been anterior tongue then it would be referred by the mandibular knob stapedius is supplied by maxillary facial auditory mandibular the correct answer is facial okay stapedius muscle is the second derivative supplied by the second knob second knob of the second knob of the second arc that is facial knob it's that is tensor tympani is supplied by anterior part of fifth knob posterior part of fifth knob ninth knob seventh knob the correct answer is anterior part of the seventh knob this tensor tympani is derivative of first arc so we have the first arc knob that is mandibular knob okay anteromotor branch